Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 my friends. Welcome, my friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi. <laughs> Good evening. It is uh, ten. A little late today. A little ten, twelve right now. It's supposed to start at ten. And my fault. I I started setting up a little bit late. And one second here. Let me just. Um, I'm actually just going to share this on the main channel here. Just give me a second. How's everyone doing tonight? How's everyone doing tonight? There you go. Uh, hold on. Just just writing something here. Okay, so welcome, my friends. Welcome. Good to see you guys. Thank you for joining in tonight. And now let me just turn the music down on my side. It's a little loud for my taste. Uh, uh, hold on one second. Okay, you probably can't even hear it now at this point. But uh, like I mentioned yesterday, when we did the Mega Man, and if you missed the Mega Man drawing, well, why don't you go ahead and check out that live stream. Um, and I asked you guys, you know what? I'm going to upload it. And do your best to color it. And that's what a lot of you did. What you see right now is the Discord. This is the Discord here, right here. And uh, this was the drawing that we had here. And then if we go down here, you can see some uh, nice uh, colors. Come here. Like this is from my friend Matt Lutz here. Did a pretty, pretty good job there. Great job. And this is from T Tavastri. Tavastri, great job there. Tavastri, very nice. And then uh, Dark Storm did a wonderful job as well. Kind of kept the original colors for this one. I thought that was pretty, pretty interesting. There you go. And then uh, we have here Shay. My, my buddy Shay did a wonderful job, did traditionally, and did a really, really cool job there. Great job, Shay. I know Shay's here. I saw I saw you in the in the chat there. Great job. Uh yeah. Oh, uh, and then there, there's a better look at it. He printed it and colored it. That's pretty cool. Great job there, Shay. Right on. And then there was some on Twitter as well. So thank you guys for trying it. If you want to still try it, by all means. Uh, if you want to get the image, it is here in the virtual studio. It is here in the virtual studio. Uh, so you could definitely check it out there, okay? And uh, if you want to join the virtual studio, if you haven't already... Uh, let me just do one thing here. Let me turn this off here. Okay, if you haven't already, I could actually uh, give me a second here. Let me uh, get a. Let's see. Whoop. Uh, there it is. Uh, so if you would like to join the virtual studio, by all means, please do. I'm going to put it in the chat right now. Please do join the virtual studio if you want to. You can share not just this art. You can share lots of art, uh, like in the Artist Alley, Art Critique. We have different uh, places there if you guys want to join. So thank you for uh, coming in today here. Love uh, from India. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, here Israel says, just one more day of school tomorrow and then offer Thanksgiving break. Oh, you got a week off? My friend, that's great. Awesome stuff. So awesome stuff. Uh, my friend, Jamie, watching on Twitch. Well, uh, thank you for watching on Twitch. There you go. And uh, let's see here. Danielle likes my hat. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I'm going to be completely honest. This is actually my daughter's hat. <laughs> that fits. <laughs> going pretty good, my friend. Going pretty good. So what are we doing today? Now, you read there that I'm going to be drawing Transformers in a Marvel style. Again, what is a Marvel style? If you are new to my streams, what is a Marvel style? It is clickbait. <laughs> really means nothing. Uh, so it's just, you know, again, Marvel style. I call it anyone, any artist who's able to work for Marvel. That's a Marvel style. There, there you go. <laughs> so today, I'm, it's actually going to be a little bit longer stream. I am actually working on a commission today. This is a commission. And uh, wants me to, my friend, uh, wants me to draw... A couple transformers, and it is uh, two transformers known as Punch and Counterpunch. Okay, so 
uh, probably not the most well-known Transformers in the world, uh, but I'm going to be drawing them in my style, which is a Marvel uh, style, okay? Uh, so that's going to that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, are you guys Transformers fans? Let me know in the comments, okay? Uh, for those of you who didn't know, or maybe just started uh, following me, um, I, I drew transfer. That's how I got my career started in comics. I started my career drawing comic books. Uh, so it's uh, or comic books. I started my career drawing Transformers. Okay, my very first fully penciled comic book was Transformers Armada, uh, and that was a long time ago. Maybe even before a lot of you were born. That was like in uh, 2002, 2002. So, so there you go, right? So <laughs> there you go. So there you go. All right. Uh, so just give me a second here. I just want to check one thing, my friends. And I believe... Uh, by the way, how's everyone doing tonight? And thank you for joining me tonight. I'm going to try to stream as often as I can now these days, guys. Just to kind of hang out. Because it's fun. Okay. And I, again, this is from my friend Koi. My friend Koi, uh, hopefully you enjoy uh, this particular drawing here, okay? Uh, so let, I'm actually going to record this. Just give me one second here, guys. Okay, sure, why not? Okay, and then I guess start recording on this side. All right, so this is going to be fun. Now, I'm sure some of you guys don't know who, who Punch and Counter Punch are. But it's going to be a lot of fun. So we are going to get started here. So uh, this is going to be a little bit more detailed, uh, which uh, I know some of you guys will like. Detailed the one I usually do, my usual drawings here. Okay, so I do have some reference up here. And whenever I, you know, whenever you go to cons, conventions, I'm not sure if any of you have actually been to a comic book convention before. But, you know, it's what keeps uh, the artist going. It keeps... Uh... You know, doing these commissions, you know, a lot of artists, they make a very good living just doing commissions, right? Going to the different conventions and then... Just do, going to the different conventions, doing different uh, commissions here and there. And depending on your clout as a comic book artist anyway as a comic book artist anyway um you could charge a lot more <laughs> especially if, if you're a well-known artist if you if you worked on uh you know if you worked on um some of the main marvel titles you could definitely charge a lot for for your commissions for sure And also the the comic book crowd, they're usually like an it's an older crowd, to be completely honest. It's like a probably where you're looking at people like 25 and up. So for, for the most part, it's um it's uh what's it called? Uh what's it called? They have money. <laughs> One second here, I'm just gonna adjust the camera a tiny bit here, guys. So you could you could see. There you go. Peter Cullen is waiting. There you go. Counterpunch is a double agent. That's right. So this is going to be a lot of fun. All right. So thank you again to my friend Koi. I'm not sure if he's watching or not. But uh, this is going to be interesting here. All right. I should. I could charge even more. <laughs> well, here's the deal, right? Like, I, I have a bigger audience than a lot of these um, comic book artists. However, you know, if, I, if I'm going to be fair, a lot, of, a lot of my audience, though, they're not, you know, a lot of my audience, to be honest, is not the comic book audience. It's a lot of uh, regular, you know, a lot of, lot of um, I'd say between 18 and 24, that, that is my biggest audience around that age range. And then not necessarily that they're actual, you know, comic book fans. Some of them are, are just entertainment fans or they just think I do very, very cool art. 
you know so So how's everyone doing here? How's everyone doing? Doing good? Doing good? Yeah, so this is going to be a lot of fun here. So I'm just trying to get, get the pose going. But in the meantime, let, let's talk. Let's talk a little bit, my friends. What's in the news? What's in the news? Um, oh, well, here's big news. You heard about uh, Wonder Woman. Did you guys hear about Wonder Woman? Huge news today is Wonder Woman on uh, the holidays on December 25th. Uh, Wonder Woman is coming out in both theaters and on HBO Max. Can you believe that? It's going straight to streaming. That's a big news today. Actually, I think the news, that news came out yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, right? So, I don't know. I, I don't have HBO Max. Do any of you guys have HBO Max? Do any of you guys have HBO Max? Uh, there's nothing on there right now that that entices me to get it, and uh, I'll admit I, I am intrigued to get HBO Max for Wonder Woman. I, I'm thinking about it, or at least start the free trial anyway. <laughs> but to be honest, that that movie's going to have a piracy pop problem for sure, right? Absolutely, it's going to have a gigantic piracy part problem. That particular, that particular movie there. But again, I suppose part of the game. Part of the game. So, oh, Adam has HBO Max and loves it. That's great. That's great, my friend. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, is HBO Max available in Canada? I'm, I'm totally. I'm actually not sure. Maybe if you're from Canada, you could let me know if HBO Max is available in Canada. I'm not sure. And uh, to be honest, I am getting it for Justice League. I am. And like we talked about yesterday, I'm very excited for Justice League. Can't wait. I can't wait to see it, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm super duper excited about Justice League. I think it's going to be phenomenal. Um, and I don't like that leg. <laughs> I don't like that. What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> I need a little bit more reference for uh, the the back there. Uh, let's see here. I think I need to do a little bit more Googling, my friends. Oh, no. No, I don't. I got, I got some reference here. Let's see. Uh, so... Yeah, well, you know, I am excited for Wonder Woman. Now, I do feel bad for them, though, in the sense that, well, nobody nobody expected what happened was going to happen, of course. But Wonder Woman was supposed to come out in November, guys, right? It was supposed to come out in November last year, and then they pushed it to summer because they thought it would make more money. <laughs> of course, nobody saw this coming, right? So you can't blame them for that. Nobody knew this was going to happen. Uh So, so, you know, it's going to lose a lot of money. Though, again, it is intriguing. Now, things that are interesting on HBO Max, like you got that Fresh Prince reunion. I'm actually very interested to see the Fresh Prince re reunion. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, and, and uh, you know, it's been it's been trending on Twitter. So, it's very, I want to see that. I do want to see that eventually. But again, I was just going to wait for, for Justice League. But now we'll see what happens. So, are you, any of you guys going to get HBO Max? There you go. You really look at young on camera. Says, I look 17. Really, Jeffrey? As well. <laughs> no, that's not true. But <laughs> Can we wait for more DC drawings in the channel? We'll see. Depends on my mood. Now, I am going to foray. I'm, I'm going to let you guys know right now. I am going to foray, and I mentioned this before. This was my plan before, and I never got around to it, or I never really did it. But I am going to start trying to do a little bit more movie poster type stuff. I, I believe I mentioned that to you guys before. I, I wanted to, and then now I think I have a plan on how to do that. But we'll see here. 
So Israel says, I want to see the new Looney. Israel says, I want to see the new Looney Tunes, but don't it doesn't have HBO Max. Well, that sounds like fun. The new Looney Tunes. Uh, isn't it the, um, is the Animaniacs, is that going to be on uh, HBO Max? Uh, I'm not sure. Did you see the new, new, new Mutants? I didn't like it. Well, I, I heard a lot of people didn't like it there, Buddy Buck. Uh, but no, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. But that, that movie has been production for what? Four years? Five years? It was supposed to come out like four years ago? That particular movie? So... Well, you choose, you know what I say, guys. It is what it is. And according to uh, my friend, uh, John Campia, there could be a very, very good chance that Black Widow would go to streaming. And I, and I trust his sources. I trust his sources. If you would have asked me, if I would have heard that from anyone else, I would have been like, nah, there's no way they would do that. No way they would do that. But they apparently they are thinking about it. They, apparently they are. So we'll see. Which, which, which uh, I believe New Mandalorians come out tonight, right? New Mandalorians come out tonight, right? If I'm not mistaken. Just trying to just try to figure out where what I want to happen here. I need more reference for the legs. I need more reference for the legs for sure. So <sighs> Benny, did, so did I see the I work at Marvel Style channel on Discord? Well, if it's there, Benny, I did it right at the beginning of the stream. So just rewind the stream. I did that right off the top, like that. I did that right off the top of the stream. So uh, let me see. Up. Sorry, guys. Just give me one second here. I'm just gonna grab some more references. Okay. So one second. The South Park is gonna be on HBO Max. There's lots of stuff there, right? Definitely a lot of stuff. But you know, I, I'm not sure about you guys, but I cut the cable. I don't have cable anymore. I don't have cable anymore, so I don't know about you guys. If that's the same with you. Uh, however, if you have to get all of these different streaming services, you know it's gonna be end up being more at the end of the day, right? <laughs> it's gonna turn out to be more, a lot more. You're gonna pay for a month for all of these different streaming services, right? So. This is this looks like good reference here. Sorry. Sorry guys, I'm just downloading some reference. Definitely some references here. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see here. So, uh, let's see here. She says, uh, me too. All I have is uh, Disney Channel, Hulu, and Netflix. That's right. That's right, my friend. Yep. So, uh, for me personally, I, I have Netflix. I have, uh, I have Disney Plus. I don't have Hulu. But to be honest, too, I don't, um, I don't uh, watch that much television. Um, again, probably just The Mandalorian. <laughs> That's all I watch <laughs> at this moment, anyway. That's pretty much all I watch, The Mandalorian. So. Good night. Good night. My daughter says good night, everybody. So good night to my daughter there. Uh, so yeah, see, uh, see, Jordan says, uh, I cut cable three years ago, used to rent movies every weekend, cheaper to buy into stream networks. Absolutely. Definitely is for sure. Right. So we'll see though, though to be honest, I haven't, uh, got any like premium videos yet. You know, I haven't really rented movies. Now I will need to rent 
Uh, I need to watch Bill and Ted, the latest Bill and Ted movie. I haven't watched that yet, but I do need to watch that. I won't say why. I won't say why. <laughs> uh, so. So that's fun. What else is in the news? In the movie news here. Not, well, not, not much else in the movie news because that's the one thing about this year, right? Like a lot of the movie stuff is um, pushed the next year. You know, of course, without going into any uh, spoiler territory. But again, it's going to be interesting. If Black Widow does go to streaming, that would be definitely inter interesting. And of course, they're going to lose a ton of money off box office. But, but uh, John goes in depth on how that could actually be profitable for uh for disney to go all in on their D disney plus service he actually does this whole comprehensive video behind it so i i do suggest that if you're interested in that kind of stuff guys so at this point guys i'm you know i'm, I'm almost done like the actual roughing out of this stuff and uh afterwards i like to take a step back and just see if i like it you know because i'm actually drawing on an angle right now which makes me think maybe i should i should lift my table up to kind of save my back a little bit <laughs> but if i do that i'm gonna have to adjust the cameras just a tiny bit i might have to do that uh so just, actually maybe I, maybe i will do that for the sake of my back guys hold on old man james needs to fix his back <laughs> oh man james so i'm just gonna move the light over here so i can have a little bit of shade on here so it's gonna be a weird lighting. I'm gonna have like this side light here. Coming along. Maybe it's like my artwork is glowing. It's like oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so just give me a second here, my friends. And I'm just gonna take my pens. Put them in the, uh... Okay, so one second here, my friends. Just to save my back. You gotta save your back, guys. That's why I actually do suggest you know, for all of you artists out there, you should. Uh, you should get get yourself a slanted table. Trust me, if you're gonna do this for if you plan on drawing traditionally for a while, a slanted table definitely it definitely will save your back. So, oops, one second here. There you go. A little bit of a slant. A little bit of slant. Move you guys over a little bit. Maybe that's all. Oops, now you can't see me. One second, guys. I'm going to bring you up. Okay, I, should have, I should have planned this a little bit better. There you go. That's better. Okay, and let me just uh, fix one thing here, guys. Okay, let me just fix, let me just fix the camera. Here, bring this down so you guys can see what's going on. Okay, and let me just quickly fix that focus for you. There you go. All right, a little bit better. You can see the the light there on the side, and my back a little bit better for my back, guys. A little bit better. For old man James back. There you go. <laughs> uh, how come I'm not? Uh, this is a good question here. He says, how come you're not making much videos on my other channel? Mainly because each video takes a while. Uh, each video that I'm doing on the channel now takes two to three weeks sometimes. Uh, we are. I have about three videos in the works and they all take time. Now, I do have a video that should be coming out on Monday or Tuesday that... Uh, I actually just started, but I believe I could finish it faster uh, while uh, while we are working on all the stuff for the next video. Okay, so that's why I haven't been. So you see the last two videos I did, I did, and how elaborate they were. Uh, from now on, well, what I'm trying anyway is to 
up the quality of the type of videos I do on that channel. Okay. So they're not just going to be these thrown together videos that, that I've, I've been doing. Okay. And what, you know, and, and I'll admittedly, these Marvel style videos, they were like these quick, quick, fast, very fast videos that I was doing just to get content up, but not a lot of care was taken into that. If I'm going to be completely honest with myself and with you guys, like it was just like, you know, we do, we did a live in the morning. I quickly make a quick time lapse, maybe add a little uh, stuff here and there, and then throw it up. And I wasn't happy with the quality of it. Now, the last two videos I did, I was happy with the quality. Now, are the views where I would like them to be? No, probably not. But at the same time, I am happier with the work I've been doing on that channel. So the work on that channel, it'll be way more elaborate and uh, you know more higher concept. Let's call it that. So that's what we are doing on that channel. So that's why you're not going to see more than a for now, for now, uh, until I can bring, get the views up on that channel. Uh, that's why you're not going to see probably more than once a week from me. I know it's been like a week and a half since the last video, but uh, that's that's why. Okay, but that's a wonderful question. And then there there you go. That's that's why. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's uh, let's back here. Let me just uh, fix the focus on this. All right. It's a little on the slanted side. So, sorry, guys. Let me just fix this. Let me bring this over. Oops, one second, guys. Whoopsies, whoopsies. We'll fix. That's better. Okay, something like that. Something like that. Okay. All right. There we go. So I will be um, I will be streaming a lot more on this channel. You'll see a lot of the work in progresses of the, the videos that I'm doing. Uh, actually, a little bit more on Patreon than this channel. Like, for example, tomorrow I do plan on streaming on Patreon all day. Uh, an attempt to get the what I'm doing for the next video out because uh, I do want that out the next video out as soon as possible and uh, thank God it's not not a um, I'm not drawing a hundred characters for this one though I do believe this video is pretty cool it's going to be pretty pretty cool so yeah that's why. All right. So. All right. Grace says there's an art contest going on. Pull is 350 US. Well, it depends what it is. It depends what it is. But, you know, at the same time, money's money. That's a lot of money for some people, for sure. Well, even for me, that's a lot of money, for sure, right? So one, you know. Why not? But but I would only do it if it's something that uh, that's fun. Oh, by by the way, guys. By the way, can I can I just uh, do a quick plug? Uh, my my brother John Campia, his uh, movie, uh, uh, movie trailers, a love story, a documentary. Uh, he just uh, put out a post here that, uh, and let me see if I could uh, turn this so you guys could see this. Hold on. Just put out a post that it is coming to Amazon Prime, Amazon Video, November 26th. And do you recognize this hand, people? Do you recognize this hand? Huh? Huh? 
Huh? You recognize that hand? That's my hand. <laughs> That's my hand, people, right there. That's my hand. <laughs> right there. Look at look at that. Look at that. There's a hand model right there. Hand model. And uh, I will admit, okay, I won't lie. There might have been some photoshopping going on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's my hand, baby. I got a hand model. Hand model. That's right. But congratulations to my brother, uh, uh, John Campia. Uh, I, I and I, he actually let me watch the film. And the film is really, it's really amazing. Especially if you're into film, you like blockbusters, you like movie trailers. Like I love movie trailers. It's a great film for sure. So if you get the chance. Definitely go and check it out for sure. Okay, so I uh, sorry, sorry. I just I just got the notification. I thought that was pretty funny. That uh, that was pretty funny. Let me I, wait. Hold on. Let me let me retweet that. Oh yes, that is my hand. <laughs> Congratulations to my friend and and fellow crazy Canuck. Okay, I gotta get going on this drawing, guys. I've been slacking off. There you go. I thought that was funny. Sorry, guys. I just, I just thought that was funny. <laughs> I'm still giggling a little bit about it. I'm still giggling. That's my hand, people. That's my hand. So, there you go. You can't even see my dirty fingernails. Ooh. Anyway. Yeah, I got to work out this, uh, these, these hands, my friends. These are hands. Perfect hands. There you go. <laughs> Did I cut my nails? Well, my nails could use a little cut. But they're clean. They are clean. There you go. So, I wish this uh, messaging would uh, go forward. There you go. I always wash my hands there, Amit. I always wash my hands. Okay, so anyway, got to get gotta get going on these guys, guys. I've been slacking. Slacking. Get to work, Rays. Get to work. Okay, and so let me just uh, quickly check the face on these guys here. There it is. Check the faces on these guys because he wanted me to uh, keep the animated style faces for this. Do I still do commissions? I am, I do, and I am. This is actually a commission, what I'm working on right here, right now, uh, for my friend Koi. Um, and uh, Koi's actually been a fan of mine ever since the, the good old Dreamwave days. So I, I'm, I'm super happy to do this commission for him. Uh, if any of you are interested in a commission, you just go to uh, my website, jamesraysmedia.com, go to contact, and then just put in your commission request there. The reason I don't do a standard one is a standard uh, buy a commission button or anything like that is because number one, people I find people want different things. So I need to quote it properly, depending on the amount of time it takes for me to do, the amount of detail that would be in it. And then of course, how many characters and all that stuff, I have to keep all of that into account. So that's why, uh, you know, I, I need to know what it is before I can actually give an accurate uh, quote for everything. So, and then this one here is very standard. It's like a.
So we're gonna be here for a while, guys. I got. I, I'm not. I'm not going to bed till we're we're done this. So. So let me let me pull this back. We're gonna work on the, the bottom guy first here. Okay, Reed likes the poses so far. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate that. There you go. So, so there you go. Yeah. So let's have some fun here, guys. All right, let's go. Uh, so I need my cheating utensil here. Where's my cheating utensil? There you go. So at this point, particular point, guys, I like to get all of the the straight edges done before I add any detail. Okay. So I'll, at this point, I'd like to get the bare minimum done. So whenever, just to keep the, the time efficiency, I do the bare minimum and then add as much detail as I can go, going around. Okay, so. Sorry, sorry, my friends. I'm just, again, pulling up some reference here just to make sure. And before I go into the ink, I just want to make sure that I understand... The, my friend's instructions on how to draw this <laughs> and a bit of coffee too. Uh, Buddy Buck says, have I seen Lovecraft Country? I have not. To be honest, I don't watch a lot of TV. Uh, a lot of stuff. So, is this my new profession? Not really, no. <laughs> Uh, so just one second here, guys. Let me just. My new profession is the uh, is the hand. Yeah, yes, it is. It is the hand modeling. Yes. Uh, so let me just check one thing here. Let me just uh, double check, make sure before I go. Ahead and. Uh, Oh, okay. You see, I should have read this first. Okay. <laughs> I should have read this first uh, because he wants it a little bit more like the cartoon. Just a little bit more like the cartoon, which actually it's it's actually good for me because it's a little bit easier. But um, there you go. So. Okay, so let me get, pull some reference here. It's already 11. Guys, we might even be here to 1 o'clock, guys. We're going to be here for a couple hours. Like, uh, he specifically wants the faces, but let me just see uh, here. Cartoon. G1 cartoon. Okay, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Yeah, it's, it's pretty close. Just want I'm just trying to make sure, guys. I just want to make sure.
This is my looking for reference face. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's very close. Honestly, it's, it's not too far off from the toy. It's not too far off. So, sorry guys, I'm just uh, checking this quickly. It's not so quick, is it? <laughs> uh, where is it? Where is it? I'm looking for specifically for the G1 cartoon here. Cartoon, um, comics. That's very close. Okay, okay. Okay, I, th I think we're good. I think we're good, guys. I think we're good. Sorry about that, guys. That was about a minute of me doing nothing. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, while I start drawing, let's get back to our fun game. You guys remember our fun game from before? So we're going to give you two options. You pick your favorite option, my friends. Let's do that. And we did food last time. What do we do? Um, let's do characters, guys. Let's do characters, all right? Uh, first one, let's do Iron Man and Batman. Those are the two, okay? Iron Man or Batman? You got to pick one. Iron Man or Batman? Let's go. Iron Man or Batman? I remember Batman. There you go. Batman for Israel, Iron Man for France. There you go. Look. A lot, you know these messages, they don't uh, go down. A lot of Iron Man, a lot of Batman, a lot of Iron Man. Iron Man, Batman, Iron Man, Batman. <laughs> Iron Man or Batman, there you go. Iron Batman. <laughs> yeah. Can't go wrong with either for sure. Uh, if, if I had to choose myself, I would probably go Batman. Me personally. But hey, that's just me. Iron Man, Batman. And by the way, guys, thank you again for joining me tonight. Gonna have some fun in the sun, actually in the dark, because it's nighttime here. <laughs>
You're cheating, Rays. Dun, 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 dun. Wait on. All right. There you go. Oh, you're welcome, Brood Art. Thank, thank you, my friend. Dun, 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 dun. So I, I will get quiet at times, guys, just because I'm, I'm trying to concentrate on the drawings just a little bit, but I'll do my best to keep talking for you because you guys are awesome. You guys are cool. I like I like cool dudes like you guys. There you go. So, uh, unlike what we did yesterday, this one here because it's a commission. I won't be putting this up on Twitter for you guys to color, unfortunately, not this one. But again, if you haven't already and you wanted to give it a try, the Mega Man, by all means. Uh, a lot of you have colored it, which is awesome. I would love to see if any of you, one of you, would like to attempt to actually draw background behind it. I think that would be pretty cool. Some of you would like to draw like him in a in a setting. I thought that would be that would be actually really really awesome. If one of you wanted to attempt to do something like that. Again, that's how I got my start in comics, guys. I started off as a background artist, doing backgrounds. And I learned that way. And that's how a lot of artists get started, too. Like, uh, for example, Jason Fabok used to do um, backgrounds for... From my buddy David Finch. And now, you know, he exploded. He's doing his own thing. He's doing amazing right now. So, oops, let me just bring this over. Sorry, guys, one second. I'm just uh, creating my reference here. Uh, by the way, guys, tomorrow, tomorrow I actually will be doing another commission tomorrow. Uh, and that's going to be actually fun, a fun one, because it's actually fans that asked me to draw them in a Marvel style. <laughs> so tomorrow's video, tomorrow's live, we're going to be drawing fans in a Marvel style. That's what we're going to be doing <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> 
<laughs> and that's going to be a lot of fun. That's definitely going to be a lot of fun. So if you want to join me for that one. I don't know. Punch looks kind of sus. <laughs> that was an Among Us reference. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Don't sit on that French curves, James. I know. I remember when you did that before. Yep, I've broken. <laughs> I've broken many a French curves in my day, my friend Michael. Uh, yes, many, many a French curves. They are very breakable. Very, very breakable. So you gotta be careful. So, uh, this is an interesting question. What do you think they'll do with Black Panther now that Chadwick has passed away? Well, I'm, I, I could see both sides to the argument there, buddy Buck. Okay, I could definitely see both sides. And it, and the, here's the deal: it's hard to make that decision now because it's so recent, right? Uh, you know, we all love Chadwick as as Black Panther. We all thought he did a wonderful job. Um, so again, in, in Feige, we trust, I'm sure whatever Kevin decides to do, uh, it's going to be the right decision. Uh, you know, for the most part, he has a pretty good track record on how to deal, you know, on how he's been handling the, uh, the Marvel universe right now. Uh, so I'll, I'll tell you, I'm not one of the people who's against, uh, another actor taking up the mantle. Uh, I think especially, I'm sure Chadwick would want the story to be told properly, not to stop. If you were to ask Chadwick, he would probably tell you, no, 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 don't, uh, don't stop the story. Recreate, recast. I'm pretty sure he would, he would say that, you know, I, I, I highly doubt he would say, no, only I can play this role. I highly doubt that, you know, so maybe the best way to continue his legacy is to make sure that the story is told properly, but you know, it's, it's too soon. To be honest, to make that decision right now, it kind of feels weird if somebody else is Black Panther right now. It, it does, right? If it's not Chadwick. But if it's a, an actor doing it in tribute to Chadwick, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, there's talk of uh, possibly uh, Sur uh, Shuri becoming a Black Panther. Yeah, she has in the comics. So that, that could make sense. Uh but I know they weren't done telling the story. That's the thing. They weren't done telling a story, you know. Some want uh, the you know the Black Panther character to to, to, uh, to pass, just like uh, just like Chadwick did, you know, um, you know. And then some want Michael B. Jordan to come back from the dead and uh, become the new Black Panther. Some people want want that, right? Which, to be honest, that actually kind of sounds interesting too. Definitely kind of interesting too. Um, someone said maybe they could do a, a um, you know, in other words, do CG on it. Now they actually came out the other day and said they weren't going to do that. They definitely weren't going to do that, right? So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, again, guys, I think uh, people will, you know, if they do decide to recast. Like, I've never had a problem with that. I know a lot of people do. And I think people would warm up to the idea more once more time has passed. If they do recast Black Panther, you probably won't hear about it until they absolutely have to say. Like, this movie's not supposed to come out till 2022. And I'm not even sure that's going to make that now. It's probably going to come out a little bit later. 
And um, and if they do say, you know what, they're going to recast, they're probably not going to tell us till 2022, right? A lot of time will pass by then. So I don't know. So whatever, whatever, uh, you know, whatever Kevin decides to do, you know, I, and I'm sure he's going to do it respectfully. You know, we we know they have a very, very good track record and how they deal with things like this, you know. So we'll see. We will definitely see. I'm I'm here for it. I'm sure they'll find a way if they if they totally change the story. But I'm I'm all for that too. So there you go. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this is a good question. Brute uh, asks, bro, I need to ask, how did you get a job in Marvel? Okay, uh, that's a good question. There's two answers for that. Uh, if you are asking how to draw comic books for Marvel, that's one question. Uh, number one, I got in touch with editors. Uh, like uh, right now, the editor in chief is CB Sabuski. He was one of my main contacts for a long time. I've been talking. I was talking to him for a good three, four years before I actually got a job at Marvel. So I was starting to make some contacts with people uh, outside or, or some of the editors. So the editors are the people who hire. Okay, so two ways to get in, guys. Two ways. Editors. Editors hire hire artists to go on their books. That's one way. Or number two, a writer could like your work, and they'll tell the tell the studio, "Hey, I want this particular artist to work on my book." Okay, the the artist, the writer, if they're they're a popular uh, writer, if they have clout with the company, they can actually say, "Hey, I want this artist to work on this book." That's actually how I got my first DC job. Is because Warren Ellis at the time, like, as because I was active on Warren Ellis's me message boards, and uh, he liked my stuff, and he was the one who got me my first job at, at DC Comics doing Tokyo Storm Warning with him, his creator own title. Which I totally messed up, by the way. <laughs> so, yeah, get in touch with editors and writers. That's what I would say. All right. And of course, you know, it means nothing if, you know, you could get in touch, be friends with the best ones in the world. But if your art isn't ready, then, you know, they're not going to hire you. So you have to get a good art. And if once you have that, then see the type of contacts you can make. Now, how did I get my job doing that mural for Infinity War? Well, that big Star Wars one I did, that was a big factor in it. They loved that. And it was the right timing. I tweeted it out to Kevin Feige. And I and I mentioned this story before, guys. I tweeted that out to Kevin Feige the next day. I got contacted by the head of marketing of Disney Marketing. And they said that Kevin saw it, that he loves it, and he wanted me to do something for them. So that's how I got my Infinity War job. So it's a couple ways that uh, social media actually was a huge factor in uh, me getting my jobs at Marvel and uh, DC, right? So, yeah, even even DC because uh, you know at that time I was active on a message board. That's how I got. That's how I got my first uh, DC uh, job, doing Tokyo Storm Warning. I got my job on Wonder Woman uh, again, like through editors. I kept emailing editors, sending them my stuff, and then Ivan Cohen, he was editing. Um, Wonder Woman at the time, he he uh, contacted me, said he liked my stuff and wanted me to do a, a couple fill-in is issues. So, you know, half is art, half is contacts at the end of the day. So, so that was a great question, my friend. There you go. Because, you know, part of me you know, like, uh, and going back to the Chadwick thing, because I see you guys are still talking about it. Part of me thinks that what they, you know, for the for uh, Rise of Skywalker, part of me thinks they would have been better off. Like, for, like for me personally, okay, and I know a lot of Star Wars fans won't agree with me, but I really think that because they had big plans for the Leia character, they had huge plans for her. Like the last one was supposed to be her movie, from what I understand. That was the plan. Leia was supposed to be that star of that last movie. 
you know, other than looking at, uh, you know, the, the, the George Lucas leaks recently where she was going to become chancellor, right? And she was actually the chosen one. It turns out Leia was the chosen one. Not Luke, not Vader. It turns out Leia was to bring peace to the galaxy. Um, they had this grand story. So part of me thinks, what would have happened if, if a Meryl Streep came in and said, okay, I'm going to continue her legacy, you know? I think if a huge name actor came in to uh, not quote unquote, you know, you know, pick up the baton and run it past the, the uh, proverbial uh, finish line, I think that would have worked better than what they ended up doing. Now, I liked Rise of Skywalker. I did. <laughs> I, I highly enjoyed it. But and then, but at the same time, it's like for me, like, am I enjoying it because I'm just accepting that okay, it is what it is. You know, I don't know, but all I know is I I, I highly enjoyed that movie. I did. Though I can understand why a lot of people didn't. Like one of my best friends, he hates that movie. Absolutely hates that movie. <laughs> but I watched it with the family, and the, you know, my my wife actually really liked that movie. She really did. So, because I'll tell you, I was I was more torn, and I, I told you guys earlier, I was more torn on on the Last Jedi. I I, I was. I was very torn on that movie. I was super excited going in like we all were. And I came out and you should ask my wife. She saw my face and I was like, why did they, but what, but why, but what? I was like that the whole time. <laughs> it's a good movie. Very, very good movie. Not my choice for how I would want to see Luke go out. It definitely wasn't my choice. But again, you know, I, I was like, okay, let's see how it plays out. But yeah, it is. It is what it is. You're an awesome guy, uh, Teddy Bear Studios. You're awesome. There you go. Uh, how's it going, James? Love the Mandalorian episodes recently. Chapter ten has been my favorite thus far. Yes. Right on. Mandal I'm loving Mandalorian, though I do understand there are pe some people out there who, who are not liking the fact that some are calling it just, uh, you know, it turned into the live action uh, Rebels. And I could see that. So part of me does think, like, how does the regular folk think about the Mandalorian right now? And when I say regular, I won't say regular folk, like the people who haven't watched uh you know clone wars or rebels or are into the whole you know um the whole um what am i looking for uh the word i'm looking for looking for the whole uh the canon stuff you know deep into the comic books all of that stuff because that's all supposed to they said that was all supposed to, to tie in right no matter what they are they're all supposed to tie in which was very ambitious. Let, let, let's call it what it, what it is. It was very very ambitious for them to uh, to do something like that. But again, I'm, I'm a wait and see type of guy. I, I highly enjoyed the first uh, uh, three episodes. I'm telling you, the second episode. If you guys haven't watched it, that scared the pants off me. <laughs> We're not just me, my kids, especially. I watched it with my kids. And they were screaming, la, la, la. <laughs> you know, so, so there you go. Oh, boy. A burger is a sandwich. I think a burger is a sandwich. Who doesn't think a burger is a sandwich? Okay. Is a hot dog a sandwich? That's the more important question. Is a hot dog a sandwich? It's meat between two pairs of bread. A pair of bread, even though it's like one pair of bread cut in half. It's still, if you think about it, it's meat between two pieces of bread. Hence, sandwich. <laughs> I think that's a better question there, buddy. Is a hot dog a sandwich? 
It's meat between two pieces of bread. Isn't that the definition of sandwich? <laughs> oh. See, those are the real questions of life. Is a hot dog a sandwich? I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm making this without an ellipse. I should use an ellipse. I have my ellipse guide. There's my ellipse guide here.